Dhammapada, the teachings of the Lord Buddha, uh, is condensed uh, into a large number of uh, verses, approximately around 423 verses. And this Dhammapada is supposed to be of highest value uh, in the teaching of Buddha's vision of life. Uh, I felt it is timely for me to give my concentration uh, to this uh, valuable book and share it with my colleagues uh, in the form of uh, a simple language and also not exceeding five minutes for each of the verses, giving the background for that. So, let me first start with the first verse in the Dhammapada. I will not take your time to tell the Pali version of it. I will explain that uh, in the English language so that it will be clear to you. Mind precedes all mental states. Mind is their chief. They are all mind rot. If with an impure mind a person speak or acts, suffering follows him like the wheel that follows the foot of the ox. This was the message given by the Buddha uh, of Supreme Value. What I now do is, I will explain the background that the Buddha made, uh, how and what made the Buddha make this explanation. There was a person who was coming to visit uh, Buddha uh, in the Devram Vihara during the time Buddha was living and uh, he, happens, he happens to be a person called Palita, a rich elderly man, uh, it says a married man. And having visited the Devram Vihara where the Buddha was residing, having listened to the Buddha word, he fell in love with the way of life of the Buddha and went back home and started practicing the Buddha teachings. And uh, he was more inclined to become a Buddhist monk. So after some time, having dispersed all his wealth to the children of the family, he comes back to Devarambhera to become a monk. At that time, by that time, he was a matured man and he felt that he has only a limited time to bet on or to go on to attempt to become a, a, a monk and then fulfill the achievement of uh, achieving uh, highest position in, in that mission. So he was so much determined onto it, he was neglecting all other things and working very hard, meditating and doing the work of a good monk. So much so that uh, due to hard work, his eyesight was becoming weak. He was, he was asked to take medical treatment for that, but he did not want to give more time to attend to his uh, treatment, but wanted to work more 
to achieve uh, the the position that he wanted to because he had only limited time in life as a result of this of this he becomes a totally blind person but he, but it so happened that his will power was so strong that at the same time that he became a total blind person he became a rahat uh, he attained, he attained the supreme bliss of becoming a monk lord buddha spoke of the situation of this monk with this particular gatha and recited how it was linked to his previous deed in the in the birth so in that buddha explains that this person had been a doctor in the previous birth he was not a simple doctor but he was an eye doctor he was his concentration was that there had been a woman uh, who were, who had come to take treatment for her eyes because she was going blind this doctor in his previous birth attended this woman and almost cured her but the woman pretended that she was not cured in order to evade paying the doctor doctor realized that and he felt that she was trying to evade the payment uh pretending that she is not seeing properly that she didn't get the, that while she has gained the vision she pretended that she was blind still the, as a doctor he said well do not uh, worry about it i will cure you in full when this medication is put you will totally be cured and gave some medication for her to get totally blind totally blind as a result of the medication the woman became blind the action of that wicked thought of making the woman blind and putting that medication into the eyes affected in this birth when you was um, a monk when he was a monk it attaining the supreme bliss at the very moment he lost his eyesight that is the time lord buddha, lord buddha said the bad thoughts bad deeds of man will follow him like the wheel of the cart pulled by the ox so we had to be so careful in life and realize whatever bad actions we do intentionally to harm others no matter for what reason will follow us in life i'll meet you with the next explanation the next day